some new stuff and some old stuff for you. I uh, broke out the old Charvel. This was the original uh, cross sword guitar that I recorded uh, Invasion of Your Privacy with and um, it has a really wide neck on it, one and three eighths inch. You can sort of see there there's a whole lot of a whole lot of uh, real estate on each side of the clamp there. Got this from uh, Charvel in uh, 1980, late 84, I think. We were, uh, Brown Crosby and I were there, and uh, Grover was showing us around, and this they were working on uh, necks for Alan Holdsworth, and they, he asked them to make a neck, uh, I think based on a classical width. So it, I thought that was really cool, so I asked him to make me one. And that's what uh, ended up on this, so. This is uh, the Bloody Skull, and uh, it has a similar neck like the, uh, the cross sword. I had them all redone. They had to route out extra space in the, in the, uh, the joint here. And, uh, and this was the first one. Um, I didn't know it at the time, but, uh, but it, when Rat was playing on the Sunset Strip, um, uh, you know, the, I used to see the, the you know, this this uh, same guy, uh, blonde hair, you know, coming to the gigs, and uh, you know, we he, we started talking after the shows about guitars and stuff like that, and he said, you know, if you could have any design, you know, you could think of what would it be, and I said, well, you know, I was really into skulls at the time, and uh, you know, as a, uh, you know, just kind of described this. He he added the the splatter. Um, a couple weeks later, we played another show, and he showed up with this guitar. Uh, it, it didn't have a neck on it yet; it just still had the the paint. Uh, they sort of screw a pipe onto the bolt there so that they can, you know, put it on a thing to, to paint it. And uh, and I was, and it turned out to be uh, Glenn Matazel from, uh, you know, who was a graphic artist at Charvel. And that was the beginning of a of a. A cool collaborative, uh, you know, period with with graphics on guitars for for me, me and uh, Glenn. So more about Glenn. Um, so after, like, I you know, you skip ahead of a, a little while. You know, Rat had uh, he started really, you know, doing better, and um, and we started talking about another, you know, doing another graphic, and uh, there was there was a. Uh, Gary Moore album I was listening to at the time called uh, Corridors of Power and on the back of the record jacket uh, he's wearing a, a bomber jacket that had you know this this Grim Reaper um, design on it and it had these characters which this says London and um, because it was a patch on the on the uh, the jacket and this was just one of the words that I just liked I just said I, I really like Japanese characters you know you just put put the one of those characters I could have said anything you know um, and uh, and that was that was it you know Glenn kind of put the whole thing uh, you know sort of put the whole thing together with with the the characters and the and the the uh, you know the the Grim Reaper uh, graphic and uh, you know he added the, the the Sun so we call this the bomber this we call the French graphic uh, it says too fast to live too young to die it was uh, part of a, a James Dean series t of T-shirts, and um, I just really liked the the characters and uh, and the, the you know the, the way the, the the words looked and uh, and you know everything about it. So I, I took the, just a I went to Charvel and got a just a blank. They just shot it with primer, and I took that over to my friend Gene Hunter's house. Uh, Gene Hunter done. Uh, 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 the the uh, Holy Diver album cover, and um, he was a he was a, he used to play bass in a band with Jakey e. Lee, called Teaser back in San Diego. Uh, anyway, so so one night I took the, the just the blank body over to uh, his place and um, you know he painted these these on you know I do just spent a few hours and he just kind of put it on right there on the spot and uh, you know the the whole, the rest of it we just kind of did freehand and. Um, that's how this came about. Uh, this isn't the original one. This, uh, the original one, is 
at one of the hard rocks out there, and uh, I think it's in uh, Malaysia. But um, this we did, uh, Dan Lawrence, who was also a graphic artist at Charvel back then, and he's still doing graphics, uh, did this for me. And we also did a reverse uh, black body with white letters.